What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, EC Rallo, Mr. 454 himself. And I'm here with another video for NBA 2K22. Now, yesterday, I posted a build video. You see it right here. This rare build could break NBA 2K22. It's a mid-range maestro, but at the power forward position. Very different, you know, very, you know, rare type of build. You don't you don't usually see a mid-range maestro that often in the uh in the uh, park and you definitely don't i've never seen one at the power forward position so i went ahead and made one i wouldn't even try to i just happened to uh, i'll be trying out different bills and i came across this one anyway that's neither here nor there one of my subs kaifo he said it's a good build but strength doesn't matter at all in 2k unless it's a post score that doesn't sound right so the first pot charts are the best because if you don't pick them you're going to be slow as af yeah, slow as you know what it means now, I picked the second pie chart when it came to the physical attributes. I wanted strength and vertical. The reason I picked that pie chart was because I knew I wasn't going to put a lot of attribute points on my defense. And I didn't want my uh, player to be too uh, undersized or underpowered in the paint. The only thing I put the attributes on, as you can see right there, is the interior defense and the defensive rebound. But I also gave him strength and some vertical. That's going to help him out. I didn't give him alligator arms either. But for Kaifo to say that strength doesn't matter at all. Uh, now, first of all, he's not the first person I heard say that. But the, the fact the fact that people out there actually believe that means that you guys, you're not paying attention to everything about this game. There's a lot of things about this game you guys ignore. Now, there are certain builds where strength doesn't matter. I'm not saying that. If you're a play shot, for your build to be effective, strength really doesn't matter. Now, if you're a play shot, they probably want you to, you know, you got to knock down threes. You got to be able to handle the ball. You're going to need speed. Those are the things that are going to help your build out. Uh, shooting, speed, dribbling. That's what you need. You don't need strength. You know, if, uh, a lot of people who make their builds for offensive purposes, you're not going to need, you're not going to rely on strength for your build to be effective. You're there to score. But for defensive builds, for defensive builds that like to finish in the paint, you're going to need strength. If you're going to play defense and finish in the paint, you're going to need strength. If you're going to be a post scorer, you're going to need strength. Uh, strength helps the offensive player score, but it also helps, you know, you got to be able to, if somebody's trying to back you down and your strength is higher than theirs, than theirs they can't back you down. It's that simple. I, I use the back down method a lot, but it only works if I'm stronger than the other guy. Strength matters. Now, the build you're going to see me playing on in this video is not a post score. But before I even get to that, look at the player I, I made yesterday, the player that he commented on. He said, strength only matters if you're a post scorer. Well, as you can see, my post hooks are turned up to the max. My post fade is turned up to the max. And my post control is turned up to, a to the max. Since I'm 6'7", if I get with a bigger center, like maybe play with another glass cleaner or a glass cleaner lock, I can be the person who's guarding the opposing guard, which means I could back him down in the paint and abuse him with post scoring moves you know what i mean i didn't even think about using this build in that way but since he said that yeah i do have what it takes to bully smaller guards i'm only six foot seven i can bully smaller guards the build you're going to see me playing on in this video is not a post score as you can see my post hooks are not turned up my post fade is not high my post control has nothing on it this is not a post score i can't shoot i can't dribble and I'm not that fast. There's only one thing I have to rely on, and that's strength. I'm a pure red. This is a pure red build. I only get 15 finishing badges. But hey, I don't even have back down Punisher on. I don't even have it turned on. Why? Because my strength is up higher than most players I play against. Um, really, I'd rather use those badge points on, uh, on other things because I don't need it for back down Punisher. I already have enough strength. Strength is what makes this build dominant. Look, some people go ahead and get the 99 strength, but to do that, you got to push your weight all the way up to like, uh, like 270 or something like that. But dude, that makes you so slow. It's not worth it. I kept my weight down to 250. Yes, I kept it down at 250 and took an 86 strength. And this is good enough to be dominant. It's great enough. It's good enough to be dominant because most people don't make their builds this big. And this build is only effective around the rim. Like three to five feet away from the rim you get what i'm saying in that area so how do i even get to the spot i want to get to because i'm not fast and i can't dribble well it takes strength that's all it takes and you're gonna see you're gonna see now right there you see how i dropped that guy 
that strength, bro. You can have one Hall of Fame brick wall all you want, but if your strength isn't high enough, you're not dropping anybody. You're not. You need your strength. Grab that offensive rebound and just go up. Just overpower him. This is strength. This is hey. If I didn't have the strength, I would probably got bumped. I wouldn't have been able to go up on him. Look, just move him. Just bag him down. Bag him down and score. Now, this game here. This game here. <laughs> my partner quit out on me. He was a sharpshooter, but he couldn't shoot. He just kept selling. Just kept selling. And you'll see. Uh, we got down uh, 20 to four, I believe it was. And I had an AI with me. You see, we're down 20 to four. I'm going to come back and win this game using one thing only, and that is strength. I'm just going to dominate the paint. Move. You go ahead and watch this clip, and you tell me if strength matters. See, the thing is, after a while, you got to see. You see his partner coming to help. You see his teammate coming to help. Like I said, I'm not dribbling. I'm not shooting. I'm only doing one thing. I'm bagging him down and I'm using his strength. But he still has to come double team. That's why I say that this build is an ISO build. I'm so strong in the paint that I have to get double teamed. But I can score on my own. I don't need anybody to pass me the ball or set me up. I can score on my own because I'm so, look, they, they paying so much attention to me. They forgot about the AI. I'm so strong that I can score on my own. I don't need anybody else. Even though I can't dribble and can't, I can't shoot, it doesn't matter. You're going to have to double team me. You're going to have to double team me. The only thing y'all can do to stop me is spam me because I'm too strong for you. Too strong, man. Strength. A build like that is only effective because of strength.